Look at that Demogorgon. How about that? It's Jason, and we're back for another unboxing. Today, we're going to take a look at the Stranger Things Dungeons and Dragons crossover set. Before we open, I do want to say real quick, I was a little disappointed when I got this. I was under the impression that it was actually based on Stranger Things. I thought it was kind of like D&D rules set to a 1980s small town, you know, and you're playing as the Stranger Things kids or related kids in the Stranger Things universe, but that's not what it is. This is actually the regular D&D 5th edition starter set, and yeah, I already took it out of the package, so we're doing an unboxing without shrink wrap again, but let's look in there and see what we got. So it is... 5th edition starter set with a Stranger Things twist. So I'll just kind of look over this stuff real quick. I already showed the back of the box, but you see the contents. It comes with dice, Demogorgons, player cards, player book, and your first quest. So, standard dice. Oh, they're nice and pretty blue ones. Might just keep those in the package. You know what dice do. Here we have be careful so we don't hurt these guys. Look at that. We've got the Demogorgon. <laughs> and we all know that the original D&D Demogorgons don't really look like this, but for this, they do. Oh, man, that is so cool. I could use this guy in Talisman just as a uh, player, maybe. And we have another one that's not painted. So if you want to paint, I'm, I'm no good at painting miniatures. So we'll leave that guy in there. Let's look over the rule book real quick. Yep, it's your starter rule book. Basic player rules, basic DM rules. How to play. You know, it's a great intro to Dungeons and Dragons if you haven't played it. It's a good way to get good crossover for people. We've got halflings. Why does it just say halfling there? Oh, having, having. I was thinking halflings, like hobbits, you know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Core rules. For, you know, and I am going to admit, I played second edition slash AD&D and just a tiny bit of third edition. So when it comes to, hey, there's some Stranger Things art there, isn't there? Steve is my favorite character. I love that bat. One day I will own a bat like that. Okay. Just kind of flip through this quickly here. Yeah. Coinage. Yeah, it's got it's it's D and D, right? What can you say? You know what D and D is? Here we got eleven. Anybody else excited for the fourth season? I gotta say, I was a little let down that the previews show us that Hopper is still there. I kinda was hoping that, I, as much as I love the character, I was hoping he would stay dead because his death would have had so much meaning. And now him not dying is just kinda like, whatever. So he's doing some kind of Russian something or another, I don't know. Here's the player sheets. Are these based on the characters from the show? I let's see. We have stats in there. We've got. They don't have player names. I, no, I think these are just. These are just generic. You can write your name on them. Then we've got a hill dwarf. We've got a wood elf. A human. What? Oh, paladin. We've got a paladin. Wait a minute, I gotta start that over. It's not a wood elf, it's a cleric wood elf. You know, I think in the, the real early ones, I swear you didn't have a class, you just had, you're like, I'm a dwarf and that's it. Now you're an elven cleric. We have a hill dwarf who is a bard, yuck. Maybe unpopular opinion, but I do not like bards. One bit in gaming. Paladin, a human paladin. We've got a half orc ranger and a half elf wizard. 
you gotta love the half elves. And finally, the built-in quest, or the first quest it comes with, here is the official Stranger Things tie-in. As you can see, it's a D&D campaign by Mike Wheeler. So you're playing the quest that Will DeWise wrote Was Mike the DM? But Will the Wise was the wizard, I guess. I can't remember. But you're playing the quest that they play on the first episode of Stranger Things. So there you go. This is where we came up. Yeah, it's got some nice maps. You know, this is where the Demogorgon is first mentioned. Where they fight the Demogorgon. Let's see if we can find that here. If that's even in here. I haven't looked yet. Oh yeah, there we have the Demogorgon. They draw them just like the Demogorgon from the show. Using Demogorgon blood. This would be actually pretty fun. But, I do have to say, there's a few problems with this. It's, I think it's super, super cool. Is that, it's not Tiamat, no, it's a, what a Hydra probably, yeah. It's like you can't have Tiamat in an early adventure here, but. Yeah, that's a, that's a beautiful looking hider. Wow. So, okay, like I was saying, I think it's super cool that they made this. And I love the little Demogorgon miniatures. I love the cover art. I, you know, I love everything about the look and feel of the game. The problem I have is, you know, okay, so anybody who plays D&D, this is pretty much useless for them. They, they already know what they're doing. They already have their starter sets. They're well into the game with advanced characters they have they're only going to buy this if they're stranger things fans and then what are they going to do with it they're going to sit it on a shelf and forget about it and complain that they spent money on it even though it didn't cost that much but but then anyone who's not a DD fan will see this and they oh wow stranger things this is fun they'll buy it for the stranger things tie-in um open it up and say, wait a minute, where's the game? I don't see a game, I just see a couple of stupid books. <laughs> Is what people might think. So I don't know, it's, it's, I see where they were going with this. It's just whether or not it had any popularity, I have no idea. It'd be good for me as a way to kind of do some basic D&D uh, &D quests for my son, if he wants to and his friends get him acquainted with the rules, get me acquainted with level, with fifth edition stuff, because I, I don't know much about fifth edition. But that's it, that is what's in this box. In closing, I forgot to mention, I love how they make it look like the box is kind of beat up and worn. Like, it's, you know, they got it out of Mike's closet on the, on the show, so that's kind of cool. Or Will's, whoever it was. So. But otherwise, that's it. If you've played this, leave us a comment and let us know what you think, because I'd love to hear how it how it does compare, what that little quest it comes with is like, if it's fun, if it's worth playing, or if it's worth just using the rules and making your own quest like we did in the glory days of Dungeons and & Dragons. And that's it for now. I'll be back next week with another video, so be sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.